In this video tutorial, I will show you how to make a project in Irish Lace Technique. We work on the front side of the project. We divide our work on some parts. We create painting in real size, then we pin a painting on a mat, then crochet cords on the burden and pin them on a mat, and crochet trim for them. After that, we will be filling up the inside space between motifs by chaotic mesh and finishing the work by making a trim around the project. For work, you need a mat, a ball of cotton yarn, ribbon yarn, eyelash yarn, crochet hook, pins, scissors, needle and a ready round elements. We pin a painting on a mat. I remind you I made a painting in real size. Begin the work by making the cord on the burden. The length of the cord you determine by the pattern. We start to crochet cord on the burden. In this case, burden is a folded yarn in a half three times. Insert the hook between the yarn of the burden, pull up a loop and make a chain. Then I will be working with single crochet stitches in a row. Make single crochet around the base or a burden. Insert the hook around the burden, pull up a loop and pull through two loops by making single crochet. Like this. Repeat again single crochet around the base or a burden. Your cord should look like this. We have done the cord on the burden and now I pin it by the pattern. We have pinned the cord by the pattern. Begin making the trim for it. I take yarn of a dark pink color and I will be making trim by this line. Insert the hook into the cord, take the working yarn, pull it through by making a chain to bring up the yarn. Then I will be making single crochet into each stitch of the cord. You continue making single crochet into each stitch till this point. We have made single crochet trim of the first petal. As you can see, the second petal I will be making in the same way as the first one. But, but I made a single crochet trim of red color of yarn. Also, you can see that this cord is bent and I crocheted two single crochet or three single crochet increase in the bent place. For concavity place you should make single crochet two or single crochet three together. You should pin all cords in this way. Now I will crochet a branch with berries. Begin the branch, make the first chain, then a chain of 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and make 2 treble crochet into the first chain stitch. Yarn over 2 times to work with treble crochet, insert the hook into the first chain stitch, pull up a loop. Then pull through two loops two times and repeat again. Yarn over twice to work with treble crochet. Insert the hook into the first chain stitch, pull up a loop, pull through two loops twice. Then yarn over and pull through all loops and the hook. Insert the hook into the first chain stitch. Take the working yarn, pull it through by making a slip stitch. 
The first berry is made, begin the second one. Make a chain of four. One, two, three, four. The destination between berries you determine by yourself. Then a chain of four. One, two, three, and four. Make two treble crochet into the fifth chain stitch away from the hook. Yarn over twice. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. Insert the hook into the fifth. Chain stitch away from the hook and make the first treble crochet. And the second treble crochet into the same chain stitch. Then yarn over and pull through all loops on the hook. You can make a slip stitch into the same chain stitch that we just worked it into or you can make a slip stitch around the fifth chain stitch. I will make a slip stitch around the fifth chain stitch. The second one is done. Let's make berry one more time. A chain of four. One, two, three, four. Then four more chains. One, two, three, four and two trebles into the fifth chain stitch away from the hook make the first one make the second treble into the same chain stitch and pull through all loops on the hook and make a slip stitch around the fifth chain stitch the third one is done and you should continue the length of the cord you determine by the pattern. I have pinned the branch on the pattern. After that, I pinned round elements. These round elements made of ribbon yarn. How to make them you can find in tutorial 7 of crochet elements and project category. Also, I have done two berries. Now I show you how to crochet them. I take the eyelash yarn, wrapping the thread 12 times around the marker, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I have done 12, you can make any quantity. I cut off the yarn. Take a needle, pull the thread through the needle and sew all wrapping yarn through the center. Go through the center and sew around the wrapping yarn two or three times. I think it's enough. I think it will be enough. And you will get small berries made of eyelash yarn. All elements are pinned. And next step. We need to sew elements together our project in contact places. We have sewn elements together of our project where our elements contact with each other. I fill it up the three places inside of elements. Next step is filling up place between rounds. Begin from this point. Turn the work. I will make the same chaotic mesh as I did in the petals. Begin the work. A chain of four. One two, three, and four. Yarn over the hook and double crochet into the chain space. I pin it by counter. Make a chain and 
double crochet into the branch I lost my loop repeat again insert the hook into the branch pull up a loop pull through two loops twice turn the work in the process making chaotic mesh chain of five one repeat again two three four and five and single crochet into the chain space A chain of four, one, two, three, and four. I fix this piece of work, yarn over the hook, turn the work, and make double crochet into the chain space. Chain of Five, one, two, three, four, five. Turn the work a little bit, yarn over the hook to work with double crochet, and make double crochet into the chain space. I pin this chain space. And we continue. Chain of two, one and two, and double crochet into the chain space. Chain of six, one, two, three, four, five, six yarn over the hook to work with double crochet and make double crochet into the chain space turn the work pin this piece of work and we continue chain of three one two, three, turn the work, yarn over the hook to work with double crochet, insert the hook into the chain space, pull up a loop, pull through two loops twice, one, and two, Double crochet is ready. Insert the hook into the chain space. Pull up a loop, pull through two loops to finish single crochet. Single crochet is done. We pin this piece of work and we continue. Make a chain of five. One, two, three, four and five yarn over the hook to work with double crochet and make double crochet into the chain space keep working in this way by this counter we have filled up the free place by the counter of the round we finish in this point Take a thread with needle and now I fill up the upper part of this piece. I will be making twisted bright stitches. Begin from the foundation. To do this, go into the chain space on the opposite side. Remove the pin. The foundation is made. Now work a twisted bright on the way back. 
For this, just wrap the thread around the foundation three times. Make the first time. Now with the needle go under the foundation strand from the right to the left. Two and three. The first bright is made. With the needle go through the berry. Turn the work. I will be working with this cord, but from inside till this point. For this turn the work, remove pins, turn the cord, with the needle go through the stitches of the cord two times, make the first time. And make the second time. Fix the cord. Now we start the second twisted bright. Turn the work and pass the thread to the cord to the stitch. To pass the thread to the cord to the next stitch that we are going to start a bright from. Let's repeat again and make the second twisted bright next to this one. Make the foundation for the second bright. With needle go into the chain space on the opposite side. And now on the way back do two wraps. Make the first one and the second one. To pass the thread through the cord inside till this point, as we did in the previous time, and make twisted bright one more time by yourself. We have made all brights. Turn the work. Now I will be making the trim by counter of the work. Make around of the single crochet stitches. Begin the work. Make a chain. Then two single crochet into the chain space. Make the first one. And the second one. Four single crochet into the next chain space. One, two, three, and four. Then single crochet into the next chain space. Three single crochet into the next chain space one, two, three, remove the pin, two single crochet, one and two, continue till the end of this round. I remind you we work with last round of the project or the last row of the motif. We made single crochet trim by the counter of the project. Turn the work. I have already filled up the space between rounds. Now I show you how to do this on example 
on this piece of work. I continue my work. Now I will be making chaotic mesh. Chain of 3, 1, 2, 3. Yarn over the hook, insert the hook into the chain space. Pull up a loop, pull through two loops twice. Chain of 3, 1, 2, 3 and double crochet into the next chain space. Pull up the working loop, remove the hook, insert it into the trim, take the working yarn, pull it through and repeat a chain of three, one, two, three and double crochet into the chain space. Try a mesh on the pattern, make a chain and double crochet into the chain space. I fix this piece of work. You should continue by yourself till the end of this pattern. We have just done chaotic mesh till the end. Now we need to crochet single crochet trim by the counter of the pattern. The project is ready. I detached it from the mat. This is front side. And let's take a look at the back side of the work. Today we have learned how to make a project in Irish lace style. It is hard to repeat the exact copy, so improvise and do not to be afraid to experiment. You can change the shape and number of petals, kinds of trims, of course. As a result, you will get your personal, unrepeatable project in Irish lace. Thanks for watching.